If you're curious about mahjong, Cantonese style with Hong Kong scoring is the best place to start. If you already know how to play and want to improve your game, and you have a set at home, try playing solitaire, four hands at one time. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to improve your game, or maybe learn a new style, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos or for when I go live. Let's play solitaire. I have all my tiles out. They're behind these risers. They're just randomly placed. I'm going to get 14 random tiles for east. Then I'll get 13 for south, west, and north. Okay. I'm just going to push these to where I can reach them. They're just back here randomly. I'm not going to build a wall. For just me, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Let's see what we can do for East. East has their seat flower. I'm going to put their exposures to the right, lower right, and uh, they have a two flower and a three flower. Right there. So they have one fawn already. We're going to play a three fawn minimum. Put this over here. Three fawn minimum. I play at Mahjong time online and I want to play at a table with eight points or better and that equates to three fawn. So we're going to say that it is the east round. So if anybody gets a pung of east wind, they will get score for that. So we'll just remember that it's east round. So we have three flowers there. I'm going to take three random replacements. So let's see what this player can try for. They have an east and a south. So for east, I think I would try for all pung. They have three pair. They just need one more pair so that they could pung. Any pair is a potential pung. So I'm thinking all pung, which is three fawn. So that's my hope for east. So let's see what happens there. I'm going to look now at south. No flowers. No flowers is a fawn all by, that, all by itself. Negative space, you get a fawn for negative space. So we have two pair in here. So one fawn for no flowers, there's two pair, four bam, seven dot. Their major suit here is bams. They could try for bams with honors, that would be called a half flush. I would hold the seven dot for as long as possible and discard these. That's my initial thought for south. So let's see what west has. They have two flowers, a one and a two. So that would be for west. We're going to take two random replacements here. Okay. They have an east and a west, and they have quite a mixture here. They actually have a pung of six dots. So dots is their major suit at the moment. I think I would start by discarding the cracks. They do have lots of 
chow potential, but they've got to get three fawn from somewhere. Right now they have zero. We'll see what happens with them. Let's look at North. North has lots of cracks. And a two pair. Oh, lots of cracks and pairs in BAMs. There's a pair and there's a pair. Okay. We can get rid of the dot for sure. All right. They have no flowers, so that's a fawn. No flowers and all chows would be too fawn. All right, well, let's just wait and see what happens. So let's discard for east. For east, we are thinking about playing all pung. Pung, pung, pung. If we're playing all pung, I would keep the east because that is the wind of the round and that's east seat. So let's start by discarding a two dot. And I'm just going to discard to the lower right for east. And we'll draw for south. They got a nine bam. That's good because we're going to call that their major suit. Let's discard the seven crack for south. I'll discard right above east. And now that's seven crack. Nobody can take a seven crack, so we're going to draw for west. Three dot. Oh, that's good. If we're going to have them play a half flush with dots, they need that. Let's discard the four band, and I'll discard above south. And then we'll draw four north, three dot. That's a discard north. So everybody has one discard. Just so you can see how I'm going to be discarding, I'll take a photo. So you can see along the way the discards and the exposures. All right, we're going to draw four east. Eight crack. Oh, they picked up another pair. That was my hope. Now they have one, two, three, four pair. So we can split these out and commit to an all pung hand. So they just need to pung and then get a pair somewhere, which is not real hard to do because you could even call for a pair to win. So we need to discard. So I'm going to look at what's out and discard what is out. Right now, since the game has only just begun, it really doesn't matter. Um, I would throw ones and nines if we had them, but we don't. I suppose we could throw the south because it's not going to bring score since we're in mixed suits. Let's discard the south and draw four south. Two dot. Let's discard the nine crack. It's not helping with anything. And we'll draw four west because nobody can take a nine crack. Green dragon. That's a pretty tile. Let's discard the five crack and draw for north. Now, north could take that with for a chow, but that would leave all isolated cracks, and they have two pair of bams. I wouldn't take that chow tile. I would want to try to pair up and go for all pung. If you chow in, and pung in mixed suits, you drive your score down by three. I'm going to draw eight bam. So that's good. We're now uh, at a place where we have more bams than we do cracks. Let's discard the nine dot. Now we'll draw for east. Nobody can take that nine dot, so we can keep going. Eight bam. There's another pair. We have one, two, three, four, five. If we get one more pair, we could play seven pair. Seven pair is a special hand. It's four han. Okay, so let's go ahead and discard the four dot and draw four south. Four dot. They need to get score from somewhere. They have no flowers, so they have one fawn for no flowers. 
They're in between bams and dots. I think we should try to get them to play all pung because they're in between with suits. There's one two dot out. Let's go ahead and throw that for south and draw for west. Seven bam. They have a pair now. Let's go ahead and discard the four bam and draw for north. Now north could take that for a chow. They would be left with a potential chow and then the rest of these would be isolated and they would be committed to BAMs with honors. I think I would rather wait for PUNGs. There's a three. Okay, let's get rid of the cracks. One crack for north. Nobody can take a one crack, so let's draw for uh, east. One dot, that would be a discard. And we'll draw four south. One crack was thrown, so we'll discard that and draw four west. Three dot. Okay, now their dots are coming in. And they have both chi and pwn potential here. It'd be nice to get something for that nine. Let's get rid of the six bam. And we'll draw four north. They can't take that six bam. They don't have the tiles to go with it. There's a nice eight, nine bam though. Let's get rid of the nine crack. Nine crack. I think we can go ahead and get rid of these cracks and get them to a half flush. So we threw a nine crack. Nobody can take a nine crack, so we'll draw for east. Seven dot. We're gonna try for either seven pair or all pung. Oh, I missed a tile. I could have punged that. Okay, that's all right. We have more one more opportunity. Let's discard the seven dot and draw for this player here. If they're going to play a half flesh with bams, I'm not gonna take that seven dot. Five dot, ugh, shoot. Okay, let's throw the three dot. There's already one out. Let's draw for this player up here, three. Dot, we're gonna pung it for west. So I'll put that out under the flowers for west. They have a pung out. They're gonna commit to dots with honors. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Seven bam, nobody can take a seven bam. Yes, north can chow. Let's chow for north. Seven bam, and we'll discard a four crack. And draw four east. Red dragon, let's keep it and get rid of the eight dot and draw four south. Nine dot, get rid of it, nine dot, it's already been thrown and draw four west. Two crack, that's a discard for them and we'll draw four north. Green dragon, Woo. Nice. Let's get rid of the six crack. Okay, nobody can take a six crack except east. Let's pung it right here, pung. Six crack. And then we can discard. Let's see, we have a potential here. This could maybe even be the pair. All these are pairs. We don't need this five bam. So let's discard that and draw four this player, player south. Now that five bam, we could chow it. If we chow it, it's gonna leave an isolated tile, but we could chow that too. We've got east and west with exposures at this point. I think I would rather wait to see if we can get all pungs in here. Let's draw one bam. Let's go ahead and hold it and discard the four dot. Maybe we could get them to a half flush and that way they can chow and pung without a problem. Okay, so we threw a four dot. We could chow. Let's chow. 
We have a five, six, so I'm gonna make a four, five, six. So that's a chow. West has a chow and a pung now. So we'll discard the seven bam. Seven bam, nobody can take a seven bam. So we're gonna draw for north. Oh, they got a two bam, nice. Now they can discard the seven crack. There's a pung, they could pung here, they could chow here. Maybe that could be their pair and they could use this with a one, two, three. We need to get them to pair up here. Let's get rid of the seven crack. And we can draw for player east. Three bam, three bam. That's not gonna help. Now, if they have a pung out and they have one, two, three, four more pair, we don't need these. Let's get rid of them now, east. That way we can um, kind of block the other players from pairing up and then punging with those valuable tiles. So now let's draw four south. Okay, they got a seven bam, that's a good keeper. Let's get rid of the east since it was thrown. East, and then we can draw four west. They got a flower, a four number four flower. That's not really helpful for them, but here's a replacement. Let's get rid of the east, there's already two out. And then we can draw four north two crack okay nobody can take a two crack so we're going to draw for east eight crack they got a pung we're going to pung this maybe and this maybe this could be their pair since i missed that six bam let's get rid of the red dragon now and draw for south they got a south, that's their seat. Let's get rid of the five dot for south and draw for west. Five bam, that's a discard for west. And we're gonna draw up here for north, but they can pung it. Let's pung, that's a three of a kind. Right there, pung. So now they have a chow and a pung It's mixing chows with mixed suits. That's when you drive your score down to a place where you may not win if you have a fond minimum, especially. Okay, so we, let's see here. We have three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We need to discard. Let's go ahead and discard the west and draw four east. Six crack, that is a Kong. They have a pung over here, so we're gonna turn that into a Kong and get a replacement tile. Let's discard the four crack. Oh, I missed a five dot, I could have punged that. Oh well, darn it. It's kinda hard to play solitaire and keep up with everything. Okay, so we threw a four crack, let's draw four south. Oh, they got a white dragon. Okay, let's try to get them to half flush and get rid of the seven dot. They're not pairing up these honors, so we need to get them to a half flush. Let's draw for west. Oh, they got a west. Oh, that's nice, because that's their seat. They have a potential chow, a, a pair that could potentially turn to a pung, and then an isolated tile. Let's get rid of the green dragon. Nobody can take it, so let's draw four north. They drew a north. There are none out. The green dragon just went down. Let's discard it and draw four east. They drew a white. Let's get rid of it right now, white, and draw four south. Eight crack, discard. That would be south, south, okay. Eight crack. Now you would think, why not Kong it with the four, uh, three, eight cracks here to make a four of a kind? If you're playing 
live and you have a bonus for Kongs, like maybe a quarter or something like that, I would do it. But if you're playing online, you don't get anything extra for Kongs. So I would rather stay concealed. So that is um, South discarding an eight crack, so we're gonna draw four West. They got a Pung of West, that's their seat. So we're gonna discard the nine dot and they're ready on a three dot. So let's discard the nine dot and nobody can take a nine dot. We're going to draw four North, one crack, that's a discard. Nobody can take a one crack, so we're gonna draw four East. They drew an East, we'll discard that and draw four South. Six dot, discard. Six dot. Six dot. Now, there's three three dots out. There are, no, all the three dots are out. I need to pung that and then discard the two dots so I can be ready on a one dot because there are no more three dots left, so I would be waiting forever. We're going to pung it. Pung that, discard the two dot. So now they're ready on a one dot. The three dot never would have come in. I didn't really look at that very closely, did I? You got to keep your eyes on the discards and the exposures both, because the exposures, between the discards and the exposures, all the three dots are out. that was West discarding a two dot. We're going to draw for North. Two crack, discard. Now we're going to draw for East. Eight dot, discard. Drawing for West, I mean South. One dot, that's a discard. Either way, we need to get rid of the seven dot and the one dot. There's a seven dot in their pile. Let's go ahead and discard that and draw for West. They drew a one bam, that is a discard. One bam. Now, we could break this up and make a one, two, three. How many two bams are out? None. I think they're better off to wait for a three bam and pung the three bam. So let's let that go and draw. To one crack. That's a bummer. Oops, that's north. Okay, we're going to draw four east. Nine bam. That's a discard. Nine bam. Discard. Let's draw four south. Nine dot. Discard. Drawing four west. Seven crack. Discard. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw four north. Nine crack, discard. Drawing four east. Five crack, discard. Drawing four south. Seven crack, that's been thrown. We'll discard that and draw four west. Two crack, discard, that's been thrown. So we'll draw four north. Four dot, let's see. We're gonna keep them with Bam, so let's discard the four dot and draw four north, I mean east. South, south, we're gonna discard it and draw four west, I mean south. We'll draw for south. Okay, finally they get a keeper. So let's discard the one dot and that's Mahjong for west. So west, one. They won with a half flush. A half flush. They don't get any of their flowers, so this is a one, two, four. So that's not going to help them. But they have three fawn for half flush and one fawn for their upon a seat, their seat wind. That's a four fawn hand. That was a good game, and that's a decent hand. 
I think I messed up though for this player here. I could have taken a discard. I don't remember which one, the five dot I missed. But they still would not have been ready because they still needed, well, I also missed the six bam, but they still, well, I don't know. I did mess it up for East. They might have won if I had been more on the ball. But even when you play in a live game, you miss opportunities. But they just needed to pung. And then this player here, they did get cleared to one suit with honors, but they needed to chow. They had all these chows here, potential chows, I should say, and a pung, potential pung here. But they couldn't pair up their honors. And then up here, they were one away from being ready. Let me know what you think about Hong Kong Mahjong. I think it's a lot of fun. And it's a great entry level game. It's the simplest form. Four sets and a pair of anything. And then of course if you set up a fond minimum you've got to watch your score so you qualify to win. But it's a great time. If you need to buy a set I'll have a link below the video to where you can do that. If you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet click subscribe and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new style or maybe learn some new strategy or pick up on an inside of the game that might give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.